Hello, I'm Nick Wiley. Today's June 30th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A state appointed expert is proposing that ex Cardinal Theodore McCarrick be ruled incompetent to stand trial in Massachusetts. The Homo Predators lawyers filed a motion earlier this year to have the charges dismissed on the grounds the 92 year old is not mentally competent. An August 30th hearing could decide the case's future. Church Militant devoted a whole week of our program, The Download, from June 19th to the 23rd, rehashing the McCarrick scandal and what has happened since. A distinguished Baltimore family is suing the Archdiocese over the death of a loved one. Tuesday, two children of Francis Gallagher Jr. filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the church for alleged clergy sex abuse and subsequent cover-up that led to their father's overdose last year. Francis Gallagher Sr., the deceased man's father, founded a law firm in 1961, which even now represents the archdiocese. Ongoing feuds over preferred pronouns might not be the reason a diocesan education department is temporarily shut down. A spokesperson for the Archdiocese of Portland, Oregon explained, the Department of Catholic Schools is temporarily closed as we work to reevaluate how to best integrate schools for more fully into our mission. There are more than 40 elementary and high schools in the Portland Archdiocese, educating more than 15,000 students and employing roughly 1,300 teachers. A pro-life sidewalk counselor in Saginaw, Michigan, is healing from a broken leg after an abortionist ran him over with his car. Mark Zimmerman, the injured sidewalk counselor, explained, I was standing in the driveway and the abortionist ran over my leg, and then he had to reverse to get off my leg, so he ran me over twice. The abortionist who ran over Mr. Zimmerman is 87-year-old Theodore Rumel. And the majority of Americans support the Supreme Court's 2022 decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, according to a new poll. The Rasmussen poll published yesterday reveals 52 percent of likely voters approved the court's decision, with 37 percent approving strongly. The new poll aligns with findings in a recent Gallup poll, which showed 49 percent of Americans are opposed to abortion in most instances. I'm Nick Wiley. Those are your church meals and headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a free trip to our men's conference. God bless you.